In 1972, while the world lived its ordinary days, one man descended into the earth, a man about to challenge the one thing none of us can escape colon time. His name was Michel Siffry, a French scientist obsessed with a question that never left his mind. What is time really? Does it surround us? Or is it just a story our brain tells to keep us sane? To find out, he didn't look toward the sky. He walked straight into darkness. He entered a cave in Texas, 440 feet underground, where no sunrise existed, no sunset, no sense of morning or night, only a silence so deep that even his heartbeat sounded like someone else's footsteps. He had just three things, a dim bulb, limited food, and a device to send tiny signals to the world above. Nothing else thought the first days felt normal. He ate when he felt hunger, slept when his eyes grew heavy, but down there time slowly unravels, with no clocks, no sunlight. No rhythm of day and night melt into a colorless fog dot soon, his body created its own reality. He stayed awake 36 hours, slept 12, living inside a clock no human had ever used, but freedom from time came with a price. The cave began to whisper, shadows moved, walls grew faces. He spoke to himself and sometimes forgot to answer. Weeks passed. Months vanished, above him the world changed, below him, he changed even more. After 180 days, they pulled him out. When they asked how long he thought he'd stayed, he calmly said, 151 days. He had lost 29 days without even knowing. Scientists were stunned. Isolation doesn't just steal your time, it rewires your mind, reshapes your memory, and bends your reality until you don't recognize yourself. Michel Sifri returned to the surface. But his mind never truly escaped that cave.